thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, please introduce yourself. So my name is Matthias Winkenbach. Uh, I'm a research associate here at CTL. Um, I'm also the director of the Megacity Logistics Lab. And of late, I'm leading a new research initiative here at CTL, which is the Visual Analytics Lab. Great. Please tell us a little bit more about what the motivation behind establishing this new lab. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, the idea for this new lab emerged out of some of the research projects of my other lab. Um, which was uh, mainly concerned about quantitative models that would help uh, companies or cities to solve logistics problems. Um, and what we saw is that you can build the greatest model um, and as long as you don't really provide uh, an intuitive interface to those models, you kind of struggle to have the impact that you would like to have. Um, so we started thinking about how can we provide a better way of people, uh, for people to interact with data and with complex quantitative decision support tools and that's how the whole thought process around the visual analytics lab started. Great. What are some of the key use cases that you can see as um, being applicable? So one of the primary use cases for now might be how can we create um, better visual interfaces uh, to provide companies but also cities with real-time visibility of what's going on in a logistics network, in a supply chain, or maybe even in a city as a basically as a traffic network. So probably the first use case that we're going to work on is uh, providing interactive interfaces for people to really explore, analyze, and kind of experience data um, in a more intuitive, more natural way uh, through interactive visualization. Great. The vision of this lab. You don't see this just as a place for the Megacity Logistics Lab. We see this as a place for other research areas within the center to go and visualize things, but also for our corporate partners to come. Tell us a little bit more about uh, you see what you see for the vision of that. Yes, so you're right. I mean, it started from an idea that was created within the Megacity Logistics Lab, but it should not at all be limited to that. Uh, we can see applications across the board in the supply chain domain, be it my area, which is urban logistics, be it humanitarian logistics, be it like global or at least national network design, all sorts of problems that are kind of data driven that need uh, a better understanding of data to make better decisions for the supply chain could be potential use cases for this new lab environment. Perfect. And you also see this as an area for companies to come um, and use for their own personal needs yes. as well. Yes, absolutely. It should be, basically, it should be used as a platform both for our research, uh, for our corporate research projects, but also for uh, teaching and training activities, for instance. So we could imagine bringing in a group of executives or uh, supply chain decision makers exposing them to a uh, interface to one of our research models and letting them understand intuitively, for instance, what are the trade-offs in network design without having to teach them the hard math behind, but giving them kind of a, a natural way of interacting with one of our quantitative models to really get out of this workshop or whatever it is with an understanding of what are the key trade-offs that I have to keep in mind when I tackle this specific problem. That seems like a great way for companies to engage with the lab. Are there other ways that you envision companies engaging and moving forward with this? So, um, I mean, the use case that I uh, mentioned before, the uh, real-time visibility is only going to be the first step of development. We want to take it further. We want to take it beyond the screen, if you wish, um, by adding augmented reality technology. And augmented reality technology right now is a big buzzword used in a lot of different contexts, but hardly ever in a corporate decision-making uh, context. So what we want to achieve with this lab is to bring in this new form of technology into the way companies uh, make decisions, the way companies look at their data and use that data to create value. And um, coming back to your question, I see roughly two different ways of engaging with that lab. One is um, probably tied to a little bit more of a long-term, also a long-term financial commitment to becoming a strategic partner with that lab. And those strategic partners should have a long-term interest in kind of co-developing this lab and this technology with us as something that they would leverage within their own company or probably even think about commercializing in the future as a solution to other companies. But basically, uh, that would be a multi-year commitment to working with us on really um, creating a whole research environment around how we can use interactive visualization and augmented reality in corporate decision-making. 
The other way of engaging with us would be simply through an ongoing um, series of research projects. So for instance, once we have the lab infrastructure available and a certain corporate partner has a project that would lend itself or a problem that would lend itself to be addressed um, in one of our typical uh, research projects, we could use the existing lab as a resource to build uh, on for uh, working on that problem. Thank you so much for the time that you've spent with us. Uh, we're very excited to hear uh, what happens with this lab and excited for it to open. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.